Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another solar power and wind power update video. Today is Sunday the 5th of June and the weather is very very sunny. It's been very sunny all day long and very warm. So good for the solar. Outside you can see the three 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels. They're all wired in series as I have an MPPT charge controller. I have replaced the solar panel wiring with 4mm squared solar PV cable that runs all the way into the house through the hole in the wall and we come inside and I have made some changes I have bought a new solar charge controller. I bought a new MPPT solar charge controller. This is an EP Solar Tracer 3215BN solar charge controller. This is a 30 amp charge controller and on 12 volts it can handle 400 watts of solar panels. So this is the controller. It's much bigger than the old charge controller. You can put it in my hand. It's much bigger. It's got bigger heatsink. And this controller can take up to a maximum of 150 volts on the solar panel side. Whereas the Sun Saver could only take 75 volts. So this is a 300 watt char charge controller, 300 watts, it's a 400 watt controller, so it can handle 30 amps, so that's that. Now, I ordered this with the remote meter, but for some reason the remote meter did not arrive with the charge controller, so I am still waiting for it. I will do a separate video on that when it arrives. Another key thing with this charge controller is it has a button to turn the load on and off, which the Sunsaver MPPT did not, so that is a very useful feature. On the front there are two LEDs, the LED on the left is for the solar panels and the LED on the right is for the batteries battery or battery bank, whichever is applicable to you. When the when the solar is charging the batteries, the PV light will be flashing and when the batteries are fully charged, the battery light will be flashing. It also has, there's a connection for the remote meter, it's under here. That is the socket for the remote meter and there's a connection on the left for the remote temperature sensor. I just steady myself a bit here. This controller has large terminals so you can attach some decent gauge wire without having to put any kind of connector on the end of the cable like you did with the Sunsaver MPPT. So, so we have the connection for the solar panels on the left, the batteries in the centre and the load on the right. So if I zoom out a bit you will see that the cabinet is more tidy. I have took all the wind power stuff out of here and I have hooked it up separately. So this is now just for the solar power. So if we just have a recap the solar comes in down here on the solar side, goes up the red and black cable up to the solar panel meter. But again, when I get the remote meter, I will be taking this out after doing some comparisons with the two meters. So from the solar panel meter, we go to the solar panel breaker, the 10 amp breaker. At freight at 250 volts DC, and from there we go to the input of the solar charge controller. Center pair of wires 
go to the battery bank through a 32 amp breaker through these heavy duty cables down to the battery box and on the load side we go to a load main switch which I simply turn off when I go out so the loads are turned off but the meter is powered on but that will be changing when I get the remote meter I'm then going to buy some circuit breakers to replace this fuse box and they go out to the loads I want to tidy this wiring up somehow to tidy it up anyway so this is the Tracer 30 amp charge controller it's a heavy duty piece of equipment and at the moment I've not even had it feel warm so that's okay it's much bigger and much heavier than the other charge controller which did get hot when I ran the 300 watts of solar panels on it but that's how that works so the oh, the wind charge controller which I had before I have simply hooked it up to the wind input to the charge controller and straight to the batteries but the wind charge controller is inside the battery box just to make the rest of the wiring tidier so if I come to some readings on the meter I will tell you I will turn you around okay we've had a good day with the solar today we peaked at peaked at 243.6 watts from the solar panels that was a current of 4.24 amps we have produced just over 12 amp hours that's 616 watt hours at the moment we are producing just over 4 watt hours I will admit that I ran the inverter all day charging the electric bike battery metal detector battery, the power drill twice, the AC charger, I used the vacuum cleaner on the AC side, oh and I, I used the battery charger to charge the other battery, my spare battery, and I've been using the DC charger, I put those batteries through the charger. Also I have done some work on the inverter. The inverter is now grounded by the green and yellow cable. It goes to the earth wire that is now outside and that is Solar Tiger. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.